two, one. Ba bam! Riddler trophy. Hey, what's going on, guys? Dude, long couch here, and it's time for some more Batman Arkham City. So I'll bet that you guys cannot guess what happened when I loaded up my save file. I had to do this Predator section all over again. I don't really know what the deal is with this game and just kind of like not saving the last five minutes. It seems to happen because you don't like enter a new area. I think if I had walked through this door, it would have been fine. This world is huh? Oh dear! Oh boy! Ninjas are trying to kill me right now. Oh, I wish I had the blade dodge takedown. I wish that so bad. Oh, but I don't have it. Uh, okay. Focus, focus. We got this. God damn it! Stop doing that! Okay, got a takedown. Can use that on one. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that did not work out in my favor. Okay, she can't reach me, so that's okay. Let's jump over her and do another beatdown. Woo! I'm getting that blade dodge takedown next thing. That's the next thing that's happening. So this is a pretty weird, ominous area. You may have noticed these uh, structures up here on the wall. That's a collectible thing, part of the Riddler trophy sequence. So go ahead and uh, back claw those and just pull them down. It's really quick and easy, and it counts towards your overall progress. Those are demon heads, which is a not so subtle reference to Raish Al Ghul since we're kind of entering his territory here. And wow, this dude is just going on and on. Even when we're down here, oh look, skeletons. Interesting. Even when we're underground, this game just has people fucking talking constantly. I never noticed that until I started doing this Let's Play. It's crazy. Hmm. Okay, so now we're in Wonder City proper. You might be asking yourself, what the hell is Wonder City? It's the same thing I was asking myself when I started, when I played this game the first time. I'm pretty sure it's something that was invented specifically for this game. The tracker signal continues beyond this door, but the door looks like it's been sealed for decades. The assassins must be using another way to get through. These must be the famous mechanical guardians of Wonder City. It looks like their inner workings were very advanced. I'm detecting a kind of memory tape they used, almost a primitive video. Perhaps I can scan and analyze it. Well, there you go. We gotta scan the Mechanical Guardian. Scanning, scanning, receiving data. Damn it. The data is incomplete. This is way ahead of the technology that should have been available back then. It looks like the data is stored in a shared memory pool. Maybe I can retrieve the information from the other Guardians down here. All right, well, there you go. We got to track down more of these guys and take all their memory. All right, so they're scattered all around this place. Wonder City is a very strange place. Um, what I was saying before, I'm pretty sure that this is a place that, that they just invented for this game. 
I don't think it exists in any other Batman continuity. Now, it's very possible I'm wrong about that because I don't have, like... Oh, ninjas again! Stupid ninjas! See, every time I do that, like, four-part uh, blade dodge right there, if I had the blade dodge takedown, it would actually be an instant takedown on this uh, enemy. But sadly, I don't have it, so I can't do that. Best way to take these uh, ladies out if you don't have that is definitely with uh, either a cape stun and beatdown or an instant takedown if you can get your combo that high. Huh, I keep getting interrupted. So, I did do some research sometime about whether uh, Wonder City ever existed in any other Batman continuity, and I didn't find anything about it. Uh, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, it just means that I didn't find it. Um, it's pretty cool, though. In the story that they give you in this game, I mean, you can kind of piece it together from what we've seen so far, but it's, it's a real city that, it's like an ancient thing that used to exist, like, underneath Gotham. It's in, like, old Gotham, and they had really advanced technology that they shouldn't have had at the time. Um, I don't really know what else there is to it. I know that uh, there was it met with some kind of disastrous fate, and everybody died, but there's still a lot of, like, unplumbed secrets and stuff like that. So, it's a pretty cool area that they invented just for this, uh, this continuity. Never really heard of anything else quite like it in Batman. Alright, here's another guy. We're getting up to... what's this gonna give us? 74? So we probably need to find about three more. I guess Riddler was down here. That fucker gets around everywhere. He's got a pressure plate here. Uh, I don't really know what that does. Let's see where this tunnel leads. Oh. Oh. Um. Hmm. Okay, that gives me a 10 second timer. Oh, hi. That's a free trophy. Where does this thing lead? Somewhere back in that direction. Oh, that's going to be a trophy. That's probably going to take me a while to figure out if I do it on camera. Um, I doubt it's going to have anything to, to do with the, uh, task at hand. Um... Got to find some more of these guys. There's one way over there that I don't think I actually got yet. Did I get this one? What the fuck? Oh, these bitches are everywhere! Oh, well, I couldn't see you coming. Alright. Knock her down. Do a beatdown. Instant takedown. Perfect. That's all she wrote. And I should get my health back. I should really start upgrading my health, too. There's so many good upgrades in this game. There's so many worthwhile things to get. Alright, 87. So, the question is, is it going to be one more or two more? I think it's probably going to be two. It's just going to be a matter of finding them. Alright. Um, the nice thing is these things don't seem to show up on your detective mode after you've scanned them the first time. What the fuck? He just left a trophy right here with this skeleton and this little creepy ass naked baby doll. Oh man. There's some pretty disturbing imagery in this game sometimes. I like it. Let's see, uh, can I get no, that, that one's, that's not one of them. That's that dead guy that had the knife in his back. I don't even know who killed that guy. Some weird shit going on down here, man. Let me tell you. Well, let's grapple up here. See what we can find. Oh. Oh, okay. You know what? Here's an example of another one of these puzzles where I think we just have to land on all of these pressure plates without touching anything else. And the key to doing that is with the line launcher. So since I'm here, and it seems like it'll be relatively easy, I did scan this one, right? Yeah, okay, I did already scan it. Alright. Um... Oh, did that count? I wasn't even really trying to do it. I was, I was trying to get over to the first one, and then, uh... <laughs> Start from there, because I figured that'd be easier, but apparently I actually completed the puzzle by accident. Go me. Long cows for the win. 
Alright, there's got to be a couple more of these things. This one's already gotten, right? I kind of lose track of what I got and what I didn't get. Yeah, that's, uh... They do go off your radar. Use detective mode. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so there's one right up here. What, no ninjas? This is like a perfect spot for an ambush. Come on, get there, get there, get there. Yeah, baby! 100%. Awesome. The surveillance footage shows me where the assassin went. She must have been using a secret entrance. I need to find it. Okay, so there's a brick wall. It's right by a big ass door. And next to some posters. That should be relatively easy to find, right? Yeah, it looks like this spot right here. Couldn't have really been that easy, could it? It looks like a sword fits here. Oh, look! Well, that's convenient. Give me your sword, bitch. And then go to sleep. <laughs> so badass. Oh, man. Four hours till Protocol 10. We're getting close. Uh... Oh, you know what? I bet you that, uh, that question mark I hit earlier with the timer, I bet you it unlocks this right here. Eh, maybe I'll get that on my way out. For now, I want to keep pressing forward. And there is... another one. I cannot actually get that right now. If I try to walk- wait, wait. I think- no, no, I can't. I have to get an upgrade for my disruptor that will allow me to disable mines on the ground. I guess I don't have that yet. So, that's too bad. Oh well. Man, what the fuck? There is so much creepiness going on down here. Oh, Batman's hurting. He's hurting so bad. My maximum health is just going down and down and down, further and further. I will not be denied. I can do this. Just keep walking. I'm in the chamber of the demon. Those statues are cool. You should have listened to my warning. There are no friends to save you down here. Stop. Hey, look, a friend to save me. Uh. Ow, bitch. Hello, Talia. How did you find us? I recognized your personal guard. It was just a matter of following her. Please, mistress, he tricked me. Leave. I will deal with you later. You didn't need to get yourself arrested to see me, Bruce. After that night we spent in Metropolis. You could have just called. I'm not here for you. Where's Raish? If he's dead again, I need you to wake him up. Only a true successor may stand before the great Raish al -Ghul. 
My father always intended us to be together, to command his army. Just imagine it. You, me, a better world. <laughs> Your face! What happened? I'm here to take my place at your side. You wish to become an assassin. Why should I trust this change of heart? You saw my face. Does it look like I have a choice? Are you prepared to take the demon trials? You must show you are willing to take a life to save the world. I'm ready. Then let the trials commence. Okay. Thousands of warriors have fallen in pursuit of the demon. Would-be successors have proven to be nothing more than children battling the enormity of creation. I've seen worse. Nothing can prepare <laughs> you for what comes next. Destiny will decide your fate. I won't fail. I have heard these words a hundred times. Let us hope you are correct. Your journey begins through this door. Let's get started. Are you sure, Bruce? Only one man has passed this ordeal. Are you trying to talk me out of this? Of course not. I just... I just want you to be certain. When the blood of the demon takes hold, you will be on your own. Like always. Then may the spirits be kind. Yup. Welcome, Detective. I am the great Raish Al Ghul. Before you lies your first demon trial. Simply drink from the chalice. It is that simple. Huh. Kind of looks like Mountain Dew. I like Mountain Dew. Good. Feel the blood of the demon course through your veins, restoring your health and twisting your will. What the fuck? I don't think that was Mountain your Dew. Your next task is simple. Follow me through this world and the trial is complete. Touch anything along the way and you will die. Okay, so it's time to trip balls again. And go flying through the air. This is a gliding sequence. Basically, just need to alternate between dive bombing and pulling back up to give yourself enough air to get to the next part. Pretty simple stuff. These tests prove if you are strong enough to lead my forces to save this world from the evil that is destroying it. So Ra's al Ghul is actually considered Batman's greatest enemy. I know a lot of people think of the Joker as like his arch nemesis, and he is kind of like the most iconic arch nemesis of Batman, but Ra's al Ghul is definitely like the most dangerous villain Batman has. Just because he has like so many resources. Huh? Oh! You cheap shot and son of a bitch. I don't even know who these guys are. Oh, did you just die? Oh, wow, okay. All right, it's gonna be like that. Okay, I got you. I'm ready for you now. Stupid sand guy. Get out of here. Are you the one I have searched for, detective? The one to succeed me? Maybe. Time to fly some more. In that newest trailer for Arkham Knight, Batman could get some serious fucking air when he was gliding. Way more than you can in this game. Alright, we're gonna dive down here now. The blood of the demon has allowed me to live for 600 years. Imagine the good that you could do with such a gift. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. 
I don't know if you guys ever watched that show, Batman Beyond. It was a uh, kind of a continuation of Batman the Animated Series with Bruce Wayne as an old man and a new Batman, Terry McGinnis. I can see your body is becoming weaker. The small quantity that I have allowed you to drink will only keep you alive for a few more precious hours. It is time for you to make the ultimate decision. Uh-huh. The reason I brought up Batman Beyond is because there's a really ger uh, great episode of that show where old Bruce Wayne actually has the chance to drink the uh, from the Lazarus Pit and become young again. And he ultimately decides not to because he knows how unnatural it is. And I think I fucked this up. I think I'm going to lose right here. Yep. Should have dive bombed again. Going to have to start that section again. <laughs> Stupid. Alright, let's go this way. Is this, uh... Is this the same platform I was just on, or did it kick me back even farther? Oh no, this this is uh this is the same one. Okay. Yeah, I got plenty of air this time. That's how you do it. Oh again. These guys aren't quite as hard as the ninja ladies though, because they don't do that four pronged attack. Or at least they haven't it looks like they they would actually, they just haven't done it yet. But no biggie. Time to face me in person. Complete this final challenge, and the blood of the demon will give you the gift of eternal life. Alright, yep, we'll do that. But first we are going to Oh man, the line launcher tightrope's available. I love that one. Oh god, there's too much good stuff. But I'm sick of not having the blade dodge takedown, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And I think uh, next time we'll probably get health. I, I gotta bump that up just a little bit with where we're at in the game. Okay, final challenge. It's the same shit we've been doing all game. We're just gonna glide. And be sure to uh, dive bomb and give yourself plenty of air. That's really the only secret to this part. Otherwise, it's super duper easy. I want a reward. I like rewards. Uh, hold on a second. I think, uh... Oh, it won't actually let me use it here. That's lame. I was gonna get those demon heads, but for some reason I'm not allowed to use items. Oh well. Hey, what's up, Talia? You did it. You sound surprised. Of course not. I always had faith. Where's Raish? I need to see him now. I'm running out of time. Your final challenge awaits you through this door. I pray the spirits will be kind. Raish al Ghul. Father. Welcome, Detective. It is time for your final challenge. Kill me, replace me as that of the demon. It is your destiny. I will never kill. Not even you. What? You lied to me. I needed a sample of your father's blood. This was the only way. Allow me to help you. Use my sword. Take it all. No. Then that is your final answer?
leave this chamber alive. We'll see about that. <laughs> Those tattoos are cool. Oh no, it's a sandalanch. All right, where are we? What's going on? Hello? should have killed me when you had the chance. Oh shit. Okay. All right. There we go. Perform a dodge, get a takedown. Oh, you Jesus god. This dude There we go. So, basically we need to take out these little guys and then get rage when he comes at us. Yeah, I know how to do the Oh, oh, why do I keep missing that? Great. There we go, now we got him. Huh? Witness the true power of my Lazarus pit. Okay. So Jesus God, I was not ready for that. Alright, so in this part we need to use the wreck gun. Dodge all the shit that he throws at us. And, uh, shoot at the appropriate time when he's not being shielded by his homeboys. Pretty easy stuff as long as you can dodge the stuff, which I'm doing a terrible job at doing right now. But, ugh. I'll get it. I'll get it. I just gotta get the timing down. That was not the correct timing. That should do it, though. Oh, God. Oh, man. How many times do I have to do this? Oh, mother of lord. Okay. Okay, now he's vulnerable. Get up there. Oh, wait. Where'd he go? Oh, shit. That's right. Mashing the Y button. I refuse. We are fated to rule this earth, to wipe it clean of the scum of humanity. Only we can do this. My father is old. His time is over. Ours is just beginning. Take his blade. Kill him. Accept your destiny. Accept our destiny. You know I can't do that, Talia. Then, beloved, you will have to die. Really? Those are the only two options? Because I can think of a couple more ones that are pretty good. Okay, mash Y again. You gotta do that enough times before they all land on you. Oh, God. Okay, I got the real one here. I think if you can hit him enough times, you don't actually have to take everybody out. I'm not positive. Small is pretty weird. We are Legion. Our numbers are too great. You cannot beat us. Maybe you do have to take everybody out. I don't know, man. Oh, but I know that doing a instant takedown will allow you to dodge his attack. So that's pretty helpful. Oh god. That claw doesn't work. Dodge. Okay, there we go. I think that's the first successful dodge I've actually had against that attack. Oh, Bat claw works on him. Interesting. Oh, come on. I was throwing a punch. Okay, they're pretty generous with you uh, giving your health back, though. So you got that going for you, at least. And now we're back to this shit. I bet I can. Woo, that was close. 
This boss fight is a great example of Rocksteady, like, making their bosses, like, really cinematic and, like, plot appropriate. But the actual mechanics are just not usually that great. I mean, this is better than a lot of the other boss fights that they've come up with, but... I don't know. Um, it's not super duper good. Especially in comparison to the boss fights in Arkham Origins. You guys should just wait until we get to that game, and you will see how great of a job they did with all those bosses. Okay, back to this. Oh! That was a sweet move. Is he done? I think he's done. What are you doing? Listen to me, detective, and listen well. You will kill me. You will lead the League of Assassins, because if you do not join us, I will kill the only person you have ever loved. This wasn't part of the plan. Well, this will not stand. So we're going to program a remote control batarang. Pre-programmed remote control batarang that loops back on itself to hit an enemy from behind, Damn leaving it. them dazed and confused. Alright. Hold left trigger, hold right bumper, and it will come at them from the other direction. The usefulness of that is that they don't know which direction it came from in Predator Encounters. Yes, he should have. What kind of a man sacrifices his own daughter? And you, you lied to me. I thought you loved me, Bruce. I thought you were ready to join our crusade. Talia, I... Don't! You two deserve each other. Was that a gay joke? Old Raish. What's really going on here? I have used the Lazarus Pit too many times. I've lived 600 years. My mind and body cannot take much more. Each time I enter the pit, I am frightened of what will come out. The Lazarus Pit has corrupted your mind. Think about it. If your pit falls into the wrong hands, you'll be powerless to stop centuries of destruction. This is your chance for redemption, Raish. Call off your crusade. Or I'll be back for you. I love how Batman just goes through this game threatening everybody he comes across. Like, do this, or I'll come back and fuck you up. Where the hell have you been? I thought you were dead. Sorry to disappoint you. Did you find Raish? Oh, hold on, your suit's readings are back to normal. Are you cured? What's going on? Raish and his forces are based underneath Arkham City. Extracting some kind of naturally occurring chemical he's called Lazarus. He's been using it for centuries, slowly perfecting the process until he was even able to bring himself back from the dead. And you took some? He forced me to. Small doses appear to heal most ailments, but even the small amount I ingested had a few nasty side effects. Prolonged exposure has driven Raish over the edge. So, do you think you're cured? No, the effects are temporary. Race tried to convince me to use his pit, but the risks are too great. When I'm done here, I'll need to investigate this Lazarus technology further. I told Race to shut his pit down. And you think he will? Unlikely. Race is addicted to the pit. I've given him one chance to break that addiction, or I'll be back to do it myself. Right. Did Robin get you that blood sample? Yeah, he's down at Gotham General. It's going crazy there. I'll patch through. Hey, Bob. Am I glad to hear from you? It's me. What's happening there? Bruce, it's not good. Gotham General has at least 30 confirmed cases. There are nearly 50 at Mercy, and it's looking like the pattern repeats all over the city. I've run a simulation. Joker's blood could be in as many as 2,000 people by the morning. 
The first fatalities are expected soon after that. I'm on my way back to Freeze right now. Hopefully, the blood sample I extracted from Raish will complete the formula. I hope you're right. Wow, that was a lot of dialogue. I've been trying to close out this video. Uh, so there's a lot that just happened and a lot going on right now that I'd love to talk about. But this video is going way over length uh, just because we got into that boss fight. Not much I could have done about it. So make sure you hit all the demon heads while you're down here or else you're going to have to come back for them. I already got that one. Um, yeah, we'll pick up right here next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That was the uh, Rachel Ghoul boss fight. And uh, when we get back, we'll take a look at the Enigma machine that's popping up right here on the center of my screen that I can't get rid of. Because we've uh, now unlocked enough riddles to get the next Riddler hostage. So that'll be fun. We'll go back up top. We'll take this back to Mr. Freeze. And we'll talk some more about some of the lore and uh, stuff that's going on in this game. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Dude Long Couch. And check us out at GrownsGamers.com. See you next time, guys. Bye.